Hi, this is Monster with Monster Music, and we're talking about how you play a song by Justin Timberlake called Take Back the Night. And we're going to start with kind of a, a really cool way to kind of play it and reposition it. We're going to talk about where we're going to move with the capo, because we're going to end up moving this to second fret with the capo. But it starts out with a really cool bass line where you play open A, and then third fret on low E, and then first fret on low E. And then there's a cool little string line that comes in right after that where you can play second on the D, third on the D, open on the G, second on the G, open on the B, first on the B, third on the B, open E, and then go back to second fret on the G. So we're gonna steal some licks with some instruments. So all together you got A, G, F, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, A. A little bit more adventurous actually when it starts with that string line. It'd be really cool to kind of throw in some basses to kind of back those up. So right after that two, three on the B string, kind of that E and F note, you can throw in the open E with the open G string to kind of back up that note. And then you can play first fret on the low E string with the second fret on the G string. And then third on the low E with the open B. And then first on the B with the open A. And then second on the A string for the third on the B. Third on the A string for the open E, and then kind of end with the open A with the second fret on the G. So I'm kind of backing up that note with, with, with some compound thirds. <laughs> so we're going A G F E F G A B C D C E A. It's kind of the intro, and then from there we're going into into kind of our, our strumming intro or kind of more chord stuff through that. And we're going to start on an A major chord. And the way you play A major, first finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the A major, we're going to go to a C major chord. We're going to play C major. First finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And actually, a lot of our song, actually, our, our verses and our intro and actually kind of our chorus head, actually all kind of do that A major, A major, C major, C major. And a lot of times with a song like this, I like that to, to, to use something called a strum pattern to kind of fill up time. And we'll talk about a couple of these, actually. One of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 four, four like this, though, is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A and just tried that a lot. We have down, down, up, up, down, up. changing from the C note on the A string third fret to a low E string on the third fret which is the G note. So if you wanted to, you could kind of back up that G note with a G chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and the third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. That sounds really, really happy. And what can be really cool is instead of just playing just the C on the C chords, kind of take the C and do the down, down on the C, and then kind of hit the G on the up, up, down, to kind of match that, that bass note. So you have C with the down, down, G on the up, up, down, C on the down, down, G on the up, up, down, up. You can kind of take the place of, of the C chords. So we tried that through, through our intro verse. We have A with down, down, up. Things that are going on, but we're kind of going for ease of play, 
um, with, with these videos, so kind of kind of going with something that will really match the recording well for you to play it out. And, and we're going to go end up going to an F major chord to kind of start off our chorus. And, and the way you play F major, and we'll talk about an easy way to do this, but if, if you do the bar F major, you take your first finger and go across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an F major chord. It sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times, instead of, uh, of using a bar chord F, you can actually substitute in something called F major 7. The way you play F major 7, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings. That gives you a clear sound, and it's called F major 7. And then from the F, we end up going to the G major, and then doing an F, G, and then an A. The strum pattern to that, though, is the F and the G kind of half. So, so we could actually use that same C G lick, actually, idea to kind of half those chords. So we have the F with the down, down, G on the up, up, down, and we hit those chords. I guess another option would be to just stay on the F. <laughs> um, but, but just to try that, we'd have the F with the down, down, G on the up, up, down, F with the down, down, G on the up, up, down, A down, down, up, up, down, A down. Play low E on the third fret, and then open E, and then open D, and then go back to third on the low E string. So we're actually going G E D G is kind of behind that, that G chord. And if you wanted to, you can kind of take that idea of, of adding other notes with the kind of the hybrid picky thing, using the, the, the pick to kind of play your basses and your fingers to kind of play some individual notes. And you can take that third fret on the low E string and kind of play the open B with it. And then the open E, you can play the open G. And then the third fret on the B string with the open D. And then back to the third on the low E with the open B. So if you wanted to, you can kind of make that kind of a cool little hit going G, E, S, D, G, and D. Or G and B, E and G, D and D, G and B. To kind of, kind of back that up. So you can be kind of be coming out of the A, G. Kind of a hit, and then from there we go into our chorus tag, which is just like our verse part. So we move back on that A down, up, up, down, A down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, G up, up, down, C up, down, down, G up, 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 down, up. But the one weird thing is to play along with Justin Timberlake instead of starting on an A major chord, he's actually starting on a B major chord. <laughs> so what you want to do to play along with the recording is take a capo, and if you put the capo on second fret. And now your A major is really a B major chord, your C major is really a D major chord, and your G major is really an A major chord, and the F major is really a G major chord. But just to take it from the very, very beginning that way, we got our intro lit where we got the O, oh, three, one, two, three, O, oh, two, O, oh, one, three, O, oh, two. Or if you wanted to, you could kind of back up that with those bass notes. O oh, three one two three opens one and two three and open open one and two and three three and oh, open and two and then from there we'd be going into our intro with our strumming and we could just try that with the A A C C so we'd have the A with the down down up up down up, A down down up. So we 
tried our chorus with our strum pattern, we had F of the down, 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 Play the open A when you 
you start off that that T leg, or actually play the open A before it. So O T T T T O T T T open. So kind of throwing in some open A's for, for that trumpet lead to kind of kind of back it up a little bit. And then when you go to the open E, you can do the third fret on the A string is kind of the C note. And then kind of go to the low E on the third fret for kind of with that the third fret on the B string to kind of apply the G chord. So I'm kind of playing the C in the bass for the E notes, and then going to a, a G note in the bass for the D notes. So then we got C E G and D. So A F sharp A A F sharp A three and open. And then we basically be repeating that, that that A and the C part until we get to the very, very end. And at the very end, there's kind of some cool percussion. So you may want to play around with kind of different sounds on the guitar if you wanted to kind of do that acapella and kind of add it in and kind of do some, some rhythm stuff. Um, or you can experiment with different sounds on your guitar, different places, kind of see what kind of tones you like. Or you can even kind of back it up with kind of an E note and a D note, like E, 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 D, D. And what I'm doing is kind of taking my right hand and kind of putting it down on the saddle to kind of get a muted quality out of kind of an E note on the D string second fret and then go into open D. So, so that might be kind of a cool thing to kind of try too. Now something else you may want to add with the song too is a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that actually is right now if you're tapping your foot to the beat, it, it, we're kind of dividing our down, down, or our down, down, up, up, down, just dividing the beat into two parts, and that's called an eighth note. One, two, one, two, one, two. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the A and do a down for four, one, two, three, 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 four. That's what you do on the first beat. And then on the second beat, you're doing down on one, down on three, up on four. So you got one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing up on two, down on three. So one, two, three, four, one, up, down. But just to try that on, on the A a lot, you have long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. What can also be cool is to throw in your basses for that. So you can do the A with the A bass and then down, down, down. Try to apply that 16th note strum pattern to, to our verse. We, we can even go back to just the down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, and kind of try that with just the A, A, C, C. Or if you want to kind of get in the lick, actually, you can kind of do the C with the down and the down, down, and hit the G on the up, up, down, down, up, down. So we try it that way. You have A with the down. Where that lick happens. So if you're doing bass down, down, up, up, down, 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 
We have C with the A bass, and then down, down, G on up, up, down, down, up, down, kind of throwing in that bass on that first one. So we tried that through our verse. We had A with A bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, 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 A bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, C with A bass, down, down, G on up, up, down, down, up, down, C with A bass, down, down, G on up, up, down, down, up, down, C with A bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, C with A bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, C with A bass, down, down, G on up, up, down, down, up, down, C with A bass. Bases, you could kind of have the C with the bass, bass, and then the down, down, and hit the G for the up, up, bass, down, up, down. So we tried it that way. We tried that way with our extra bases, and we had bass, or the A with the bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down, here with the bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down, see the bass, bass, down, 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 Ideas and kind of try the 16th to strum through the chorus, we can kind of half the F and G just like we were doing for, for the C and the G. So we tried it that way, we had F for the down, 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 G on up, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up,